Welcome to Monument Mayhem. Every day I'm traveling to a new monument in Rust for 25 days straight. You're going to see a new monument and a new video from me on this channel every day until I'm done with every single one. Oh, there's my ride. Gotta go. Welcome to day nine. Those of you who made it this far, <laughs> nine days up to this point, I sincerely appreciate you. I really do. All right, let's get into it. Commonly referred to by my friends as Suey B, and I don't know why. I really, I don't know. I don't know why. The sewer branch is a mid-tier monument in Rust. It's known for its mild radiation levels and accessible layout. It's an excellent spot for early to mid-game players looking to progress and gather resources. It's extremely compact. The Puzzle at Sewer Branch is among the most straightforward of puzzles in the game. You find the largest building near the parking area. Sometimes you have to break open into the door. You insert a fuse in the fuse box, flip the switch, follow the power lines to the underground entrance, use the green card at the card reader inside the tunnels to access the puzzle area. From here you have a private-ish recycler and oil refinery. Also, multiple loot crates and a blue card. Loot at Sewer Branch is pretty diverse. There's several different types of crates available. Regular crates, food crates, military crates, and a chance for higher tier loot in the puzzle room. The monument also features some parkour elements, including a crate on top of the orange-red sewer silo. You'll remember that from water treatment. That's accessible only through a jumping puzzle. Sewer Branch is popular among solo and small group players just because it's a manageable size and it's relatively low risk compared to larger monuments but be careful around the recycler. Some tips and tricks for Sewer Branch or Suey B. Uh, bring a light source, a torch or a flashlight for better visibility in the tunnels. I've gotten stuck in there weirdly because I can't find the ladder, but they've made some good fixes. You can get out if you don't have it, but bring it if you can. Be aware of your surroundings. The layout provides a bunch of places to hide as well as some really cheeky peaks with the elevation, so you could get ambushed. The monument respawns loot approximately every 10 to 15 minutes depending on the server population and the proximity of other players, so feel free to keep checking back. Overall, Sewer Branch is pretty wide open and building near it is actually pretty viable. You can even see the recycler in some cases from your front door. It's one of the very few monuments that you can get a blue card at easily, so there'll always be traffic and it will always be valuable. Depending on your goals in a wipe, I would highly recommend it for solo or duo groups. It's a little more low-key than some of the under monuments, and as far as the list is concerned, it fits pretty comfortable for me behind Harbor in that low A tier, high tier B. Alright, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for day 10. Oh my god, we have 15 more of these. Peace.